This is Dad Elm Harbor, actually the South Harbor, because Dad Elm has two small harbors, one downstream north of the lock and this one upstream south of Lock Dad Elm. And this is what happens when you are disturbed by annoying bystanders. We were not able to shut the complete back up and turn of the vessel, perhaps you like Egyptian keys. We didn't know why the ship's name translate to Bavarian Forest, so far as we know it was once registered in Cologne and is now registered in Dortmund. It is one of a few commercial ships to book a river and canal ride on a commercial ship. This is one of the busiest spots of German inland waterways. It is the junction of Rheinhorn Canal, Basel Dadelm Canal, Dortmund Ems Canal and Adelnham Canal. From here the ships can sail to all inland ports in Germany and Europe, to the River Rhine, to the North Sea coast, to Eastern Germany, Poland and the Czech Republic, to River Oder, the Elbe and via the Danube to the Black Sea. Faldern Tor is a small supply ship stationed in Dadelm. Faldern Tor provides the bigger vessels with oil, grease and some other stuff. Bilgen and Oler 5 is the counterpart of Faldern Tor. This ship takes over the wasted oil, grease and other stuff. Elba Tank 2 and Low Tank 3 are another supply ship stationed in Dadelm Harbor. This is tank vessel George Burmester named after a German artist. Burmester was a painter, born in 1864 and died in 1936. Subjects of his paintings were often the sea and ships. Santa Monica 3 is a passenger ship cruising the canals. Some inland waterways navigators call this ship's meat tins because theirs cargo consists of people, almost all elderly people and some in the shape of meat dolls. The freighter Monte Weinberg, its eponym is Mount Weinberg, 2,844 meters high and located in the Canadian Rockies, British Columbia, Canada. A lot of European inland waterway vessels are named after mountains, peaks or another spots a vessel can never reach. We don't know why. <laughs>